Now let's show our love for our Hebrew artist Zion. This is Sons of Light Mercy by Behood Productions. It's a Behood That's just to say you the mind gone, heart of stone with many layers. Can't ask for favors, they'll come and attack you later. Asking what's the wager? What's the compound that you made of? Tell them something major, but still nothing but just a vapor. Who wants to be a waiter? Patient servant that's to his neighbors. Waiting that's on the savior to save us, to meet the maker. Being meek is braver than hustling to keep your paper. I'd rather keep his favor and die trying to be a slaver. Let's be an evil slayer instead of giving an and hope that these people wake up saying Got to show your love, 
brothers and sisters, go to Be Hood Productions channel. Link is in the description box to this video. Subscribe, click the notification bell, and donate as well to our Hebrew artist. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom. Shalom, brothers and sisters. All honor, glory, and praise goes to the Most High Yahweh in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach. Brothers and sisters, I've been penalized with a community strike, so I couldn't upload for a week. And it happened to be one of those videos that I uploaded about the synagogue of Satan, which is talking about the Jewish people. And they claim that as hate speech and violence toward another race of people. Now, we know why they're doing what they're doing, so they can continue the fraud that they are the original people of the book. And we know that's a lie. So, uh, I don't know if they're going to give me another strike for the other part of that video. They may do it, so I don't know. Uh, but I am repealing that, uh, appealing that decision. So we'll see if they reverse it. But 9 times out of 10, they won't because they didn't do it on other past videos I did. They gave me a strike on about the Jewish people. And I know that I wasn't, you know, neither myself or the other person uh, who made a video that I uploaded to my channel was... Uh, promoting hate speech and uh, violence toward another race of people. Now, y'all know all they're going to start really clamping down on our channels uh, in the future. So y'all be prepared to see a lot of our channels disappear behind them wanting to keep uh, the, the cloak of darkness over the eyes of most of the world who is waking up because of these videos that we are putting out. So I just wanted to briefly cover that and let y'all know what happened. But anyway, Zion. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. And everything give thanks for this is the will of Yahweh. In Hamashiach. Yahusha concerning you. Let's. Stay steadfast on the Most High, Yahweh. Let's keep all things righteous and holy in our lives, no matter what it is. Whatever flows out of our mouths, our actions, our deeds, focus on all these good things, Zion. And it shows the Spirit of the Most High in you, Zion. You know, the Most High opened up my, or uh, reminded me last night, and he was, when I was talking with him, and he told me to give him everything, and I did, and a peace came over me, because you know, the flesh will have you thinking of things, and worry about some things that you ain't supposed to be thinking about or worrying about the flesh is a mother y'all and it will bring up things that you supposed to let go of let not your sins overcome you let not your sins trouble you repent turn from those things and move forward don't relive them in your mind don't take them to your present as if they were done that day. And we do that. And I've done that. It's happening few and fewer. You know, it's very rare now in these days that I bring those things up. But it still happens. And some things is not as rare. Every now and then I bring them up in my mind. It's not as rare. But most things are rare that will pop up and then all of a sudden I'm going through it again. Worrying about my salvation and all this other stuff. That's what Satan does. 
he'll use their flesh against you. And so, last night, the Most High told me, give him everything. Let him be at the helm of the will of this vessel. Let him be the husband man. He has always been to Yashara. Let him be the head. Let him lead in God. Let him be the most tied that he wants to be in your life. Let him be the father, the counselor. Let him be your might and your strength. Let him be the strong man to take down strongholds. Let him be what he need to be. Let him do it. Let go. Don't, don't think about bills. Don't worry about bills. Don't think about, um, food or clothing or shelter or for the most high takes care of the birds and the bees and provides for them. How much more will he take care of us, Zion? So he's saying, seek ye the kingdom of heaven first and all things will be added to you. Don't worry about those things. And a peace and a rest came upon me. It was like, you know, the weight on your shoulders, your shoulders get lighter. You know, the weight would just come off. And you know, I, I, I've been going through these cycles. And all of a sudden, it'll build up again and then I let go. And hopefully this is the last cycle that I go through. And the flesh doesn't take over and uh, start building things up again. But I'm going to try to keep this frame of mind and state of being upon me and constantly remind myself that the most high got that what you're about to think about or you're trying to think about again don't worry about that he got that he, he's got he got you he got you so he reminded me last night and said i'm your i'm the husband man I, i'm i'm your father it's my job. I am the one who takes care of all these things for you. You're the wife. You're the woman. You're Yashara. You're the one who I'm married. And I remarried you through the, my word, through my son. Let me be who I'm going to be. Who, who better able to reshape, remold you than me? Who better? Who knows you better than me? Put down those burdens and lay them across me. I got you. I'm going to take care of you. Don't worry about it. Just live in my ways. Show forth the light. Shine it when you can. Even if it's for a brief moment. Even if it's just one word spoken you shine in the light. Even if it's a good action seen by others, you shine in your light. Wow. Quench not the spirit. Despise not prophesying, Zion. Despise not preaching the, the good news of the salvation of the Most High that's waiting for us. That is here. But when he returns, he's going to enact it fully. The new covenant it within us. And we will have it. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Don't be out there proclaiming to be a Hebrew Yashua like and you still doing wicked things. You're cursing and you doing defiling things. Agreeing with defiling things. Hanging with defiling people. Abstain from all appearance of evil. People going to look at you and say, well, wait a minute. Look what he's doing. And there's many Hebrews that have risen in these last days doing these things. They're not abstaining from the, the appearance of evil or other evil bruise that they're hanging with they're not abstaining from them 
who have an evil image and those evil images are starting to wear on them as well and pretty soon those brews that join with them is going to be just like them it's going to happen it always does they always wax worse and worse depends on who your spirit agrees with and the very Elohim of peace sanctify you wholly and I pray Elohim your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our master Yahusha HaMashiach you got to be blameless in that day Zion you know what blameless is without spot blemish or wrinkle if you want to be called up and meet him in the air with those who died in him then you got to be without spot blemish or wrinkle in these last days that means you got to be cleansed purged out abstaining from all manner of sin and you can't reach that state because Hamashiach told that one woman to go sin no more. If it wasn't possible, he wouldn't have said so. So we can't take up the Christian parable of uh, we all sin and it's impossible for all of us to stop sinning. That's what they say. That's what they forge in your minds. But it is possible. We have many patrons who did that. And Hamashiach told him, hey, go and sin no more. So it is possible. And that's what I strive for daily. And so should you. Brothers and sisters, cast all your cares, all your burdens, all your everything on the Most High. Your, the husband man, the strong man, the holy one. Let him be what he need to be. He'll come through for you every time. Every time as he's done for me. My whole life, even before I was saved or I was in this truth. Way back, I can go back. From birth, he had his hand on me. And everybody else's hand was dying to slice me. I can go back and look all the way back to when I was a child how the most I had me separated from everybody including from my own family that I was with you know some people call it uh, you're the black sheep of the family nah nah you're the holy ones the most high is going to be calling up of that family he, you're the holy ones that he's going to be bringing in and taking to his land. You're the righteous ones. That's why you've been separated all these years from everyone. But cast everything on him, Zion. Pray without ceasing. Give him thanks for all your trials, tribulations, persecutions. In all things, praise and worship Him. Our ancestors did that. I strive to be like my ancestors in the book. I look at what Abraham did. Not only for his household, but for any stranger. I look at that. He was called the friend of the Most High. And the Most High blessed him with covenants, rewards, land. eternal promises and he promised that the Holy One would come through his lineage how awesome is that that's amazing Zion and he was the light to the Gentiles do you understand Abraham our forefather was the light not only to him and his household Sarah and whoever he had children with but to the 
strangers that was working with him and for him. His inheritance. That's a foreshadow of our inheritance, Zion. So you have to get understanding that we are the most highest inheritance and the other nations are our inheritance. Not the unrepentant ones, but the repentant ones that would follow the most high. Y'all understand? That's what my channel's been standing for since I made it. I'm not leaving out anyone who would come to the Most High for no man-made doctrine that only Yahshua was to make it. When I know the Most High said, we have an inheritance that's coming with us. They are coming in land. They're going to grab a hold of the skirt of one called a Hebrew or a Jew. Yahshua light and they're going to come in with us just like in the first exodus the second exodus is going to take place the exact same way but on a worldwide scale on an earthwide scale wherever we've been scattered into wherever he got to bring us out from that's where the exodus is going to take place at all over and we're going to come out with great substance and we're going to have our inheritance with us they're coming in by faith they're coming in a different way now, when we make it there, there's going to be heathens outside left over the residue of the heathens or the remnant of the heathens who didn't believe. They're going to be confounded. They're going to captivity. They're going to slavery. They're going to servitude. All the curses are going to be upon them on the outside of our land. Our land is going to be blessed, purged, cleansed, and complete, and including our servants that's coming with us. I don't think most people have good understanding of this. And I'm trying to uh, get y'all to understand the fullness of the house of Yahshua. It's a full house. It's a kingdom house where you have a king. Of course, you have the queen. Who is the queen? Yahshua. You know, the wife of the king. And then you have the princes, the princesses, and uh, the kingdom citizens of the kingdom which is all the other nations who make it well the people out of those nations that make it and they're going to serve the kingdom it's just like that we are his inheritance they are our inheritance according to the scriptures they're coming in by faith alone but the rest of them they're going to be outskirts they're going to be go having they're going to be going through it zion so rejoice in all these things Especially the understanding of what I'm just saying. Because there's a lot of confusion out there on where the Gentiles fit in at. Well, it's simple. The Most High already said, they're your inheritance. We know it's not talking about the unrepentant. The unrepentant not going to serve the Most High or us. We know it ain't talking about them. We know it's talking about the repentant, faithful to the Most High Gentiles. And he's preparing them in faith and in truth to come and serve in our houses. They're going to be around our children, man. You best believe the Most High know how to prepare them for us. So I just want to throw that in there, man, because it's still a lot of confusion concerning what I'm talking about. And many people gravitate away from my channel because I'm speaking the other part of this truth. And they don't like it. They don't understand it. They only want to know it. So... They're going to be lost to uh, these camps and individuals who are not telling you the full house of Yahshua. And that the Most High is preparing them for us to go serve us in our land. They're not going to be like the KKK in our land. They're going to be faithful, good servants. They're going to be completed. Just like you're being completed. And they're going to serve well Zion righteously and holy but the other ones watch watch what I tell y'all y'all gonna see the, the real faithful cling to us you're seeing some of them cling to us now and they're gonna follow the Most High. you think judgment is gonna be upon them when the Most High said you're saved by your faith alone no just like you got all your sins washed away, what, what, what's to stop the Most High from washing their sins away? Because you want them to get judged. You wishing them 
to be in the lake of fire. And you're going to find yourself in the lake of fire in their place. And they're going to take your place in the kingdom. And they're going to come in faithfully. And uh, just as the scriptures prophesied. No joke, man. There's a lot of us Hebrews is going down because of this one subject that I talk about on my channel. And so my channel isn't as popular because of this half of the truth, the other portion of the truth of the full house of Yahshua. What the house, the house that the most high is building for us is a glorious house, a righteous house. And it will be completed this time with or without you. There's going to be some Hebrews going to wilderness when Hamashiach return. They're going to argue with Hamashiach. They're going to be pointing at these Gentiles. What about them? Why are they coming? Why do they get their sins covered? Why are well, they ain't going to slavery service too? Why do you know, they're going to be questioning Hamashiach. How am Hamashiach going to put them to death? Y'all watch what I tell you. With that, brothers and sisters, give everything over to the Most High. Die daily. Every morning you wake up, die. Die to self. Give everything over to Him. Everything. And let Him lead you into holiness and righteousness daily. Shalom. Shalom.